Good day everyone, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to Senior Pablo TV. Today we will be discussing the art length. So first let us define what is art length. It is the length of the arc intercepted on a circle of radius by a central angle of the measure theta radians is given by the product of the radius and the radian measure of the angle. Thus, we have the formula, the S, the arc length, is equal to radius times the theta or the central angle. So, this is the arc length. R is for radius, stands for radius. And the theta is our central angle. So, to illustrate, let's say we have this circle. And we have here 30 degrees as our central angle. So when we say angle, it is an angle formed by angle formed in our uh, with the vertex in our center of the circle. So let's say we have this 30 degrees. So where is the arc length there? So we have here, this is what we call the arc length. And of course, this is our radius. In our circle, all the radius have equal measure. So they are equal. This is our sector or the arc length. If we're going to use this formula, we can derive two more formulas. So S or arc length is equal to R times our central angle. If you want to find the radius, we just need to divide by theta or central angle. So cancel. Radius now is arc length all over the central angle. <clears throat> the second one is if the central angle is missing, the same step, divide by radius. So central angle is equal to S over R. This will be the two formulas that you're going to use. Now let us try some application. Let's try to solve some word problems regarding this step. Now let's try to solve some problems regarding our topic, the art lamp. Let's have our problem number one. A circle has a radius of 20 centimeters. Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle having a measure of 3 pi over 8. First step, write all the given first. So given, we have the radius, 20 centimeters, and our central angle, 3 pi over 8. We're going to find the arc length. We know that we have the formula, S is equal to pi theta. So S is equal to 20 times our central angle is 3 pi over 8. So 3 pi over 8. Cancellation method. So 20 and 8 divisible by 4. So 4, 8, this is 2. And this is 5. So we have 5 times 3. We have 15 pi over 2. This will be the measure of our arc length, 15 pi over 2. Now our second example, a circle has a radius of 5 over 2 centimeters. Find the length of the arc intercepted by a central angle having a measure of 70 degrees. Write all the given. 
we have a radius of 5 over 2 centimeters and central angle 70 degrees. Now convert our central angle into radian measure. So multiply it to pi over 180 divisible by 2. So we have 90 here, then 35. So the equivalent is 35 pi over 90. Okay. So we're looking for the arc length. So that is equal to radius times the central angle. So the radius is 5 over 2 times 35 pi over 90. Okay. So, cancellation method. So, we now have uh, divisible by 5. So, 1, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 2 times 18, 36. Now let us proceed in our problem number 3. Find the radius. Given the arc length, 7 pi over 6, and the central angle, 3 pi over 14. So our formula is arc length is equal to r times the central angle. We need to find the radius, so we need to divide by central angle or theta. Now we have R is equal to S over theta. This will be the formula that we are going to use. After getting the formula, we are now ready to substitute. So R is equal to S is 7 pi over 6 all over 3 pi over 14. Divide, so fraction and a fraction, copy the numerator, 7 pi over 6 times the reciprocal of our denominator, 14 over 3 pi. Can we use cancellation method? So pi will be cancelled out. So 14 and 6. Divisible by 2, so we have 2, 4, 6, 3, then we have 7. Now we have 7 times 7, that is 49 over 3 times 3, 9. So 49 over 9. If you want to write it into decimal, so divide, then write into decimal form. Now in our last example, find the measure of the central angle. So our formula is S is equal to R theta. We're going to find theta, so we need to divide by R. Now we have theta is equal to S over R. Given the radius is equal to 15 centimeters and the arc length 2 pi over 3. Let us first convert this into degree measure. So multiply it to 180 over pi. So cancel. Divisible by 3. So this will become 60. 2 times 60, that is 120 degrees. Okay. Now let us substitute in our formula. Our S is 120. Okay, it's okay that we're going to use pi. Okay, 120 over 15. So that will give us 150, uh, 120 over 15. Reduce it to lowest term. Divisible by 3, 
So we have 40 and 5. Again, we have 8. So 8 degrees. Now let us check if they are the same if we're going to use 2 pi over 3. So 2 pi over 3 times the reciprocal 1 over 15. So we have 2 pi over 45. We know that pi is equal to then 2 pi. Let's check if we will get the same. Times 180 over pi. So cancel pi. Now we have 45 and 184. Oh, maybe say 8 degrees. So the answer can be theta is equal to 8 degrees or if you write it into radiant form that is 2 pi over 45. So that's the art lab. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.